This is Constance with Charming Custom Crafts, and you guys have been asking me to go live, and I actually did go live on teaching um, the clothespin rockers. They, it is not my idea. This has been out for probably about 30, 40 years on rockers, at least 40 years on clothespin rockers. I happened to see it uh, at my occupational therapist oh, back in January and February when I was having occupational therapy on my arm. Um, the design that I saw, I absolutely hated. This is actually the second redesign that I did. And this is the one I came up with during uh, the live um, t uh, teaching on uh, um, Ustream TV. Um, and it, I didn't have my other ones in front of me. I actually had made three. Um, and then, well, made two. And then when I got to this one, or was teaching, it actually came out different, which was cool. Because now I have two options to show you. Right now, I'm only going to show you one design because... Um, I'm working on these for the teachers, and I know I'm behind, but when you got this big-ass boot on and I'm sitting in a, in a wheelchair, I can only do so much. So, I wanted to show you these, each individually. Don't show this one yet. Um, now, these are made with the, the, these two right here are made with the extra-large um, clothespins. They're a little bit more expensive. I personally think you should just go to Walmart and get the 97-cent 50-pack uh, or the dollar eighty-eight hundred pack um, but if you want to pay the extra money for the bigger ones, you'll see. Th these are actually the bigger clothespins, and you'll know them by... see if I have one floating around here. They they have the double piece right here. The regular clothespins that are cheaper, you can get at the Dollar Tree. Uh, obviously, are a huge difference in size. But it can make the difference between... If you can see... I'm going to put this one over. Um between those two I mean and it's different and, and if you've seen them I did do one for uh, Earth Day Swap if you see it's off my rocker um, and then I did red white and blue and then a fairy and pink one for my mother-in-law one for each mom um, so I have showed three of them and if you look there are two different designs and I will get to teach in the other design later um, but I wanted to go ahead and show this um, I, I did a little bit of details for different ones this one is actually for the only male teacher at my son's school so I made it a little more masculine um, if it's off a little bit when you get done making one I wouldn't worry too much about it because when you embellish them and you paint them you're not going to have to worry about it but you're, for essential you're going to need your hot glue gun um, you can use the E6000 if you're not in a hurry. It, it'll automatically glue it so you won't need super glue at the end. But I highly recommend that you get the one tube use super glue. Each rocker is going to take two of the one tube use. I don't really go with the big tubes or the big bottles because it dries uh, before you get a chance to get back to it. So the single use, yeah, I think you can get two or three of them at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So um, it essentially each one of these rockers will cost you maybe three bucks to make. Um, but I wanted to show you these. Um, and I'm going to put some of them aside because, again, this this is um, rocker one with the big one. This is rocker two. I have four done. I have four more, and i got pieces and parts floating around. So I thought it might as well do this than do Ustream TV because I know for a while they were having problems. And I just, a lot of people have different schedules. And please don't mind my family in the background. They're being asses. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these aside. Actually, no, I'm going to keep this out for a second. Um, the difference between the designs, and I can tell you right now, the ladies who um, watched me uh, design this one um, live um, because I didn't have my stuff, and even with my pictorial, the pictorial didn't help. Uh, it did and didn't because it starts getting into it. The reason why I suggest the hot glue is because um, it, it, even though it's an uh, immediate hold, it also has some flexibility to it. I also suggest having a heat gun. My, my table's a mess because I can't get up and clean it. Uh, the heat gun so that you can move and structure it as you go. Please remember you are designing a structure so there are support pieces in it. But for those ladies that were following me, everything pins on, and I'll show you, everything pins on this piece right here. Between this area right here and this area will take that difference between design one and two. This is actually design two. I will get to design one another time. But this is design two. And this one I made to where you can put pins in the back. Um, I put stick pins for some here. Uh, these I'm actually making for teachers where there's going to be... Um, there's going to be uh, stick, uh, sticky note papers here. Um, sticky notes. I have them right here. Where I'll be putting these on the front. If you can see where they can grab that, there is room to put pens in the middle. It's fabulous. They can only use normal pens and pencils, but it's right there. And instead of doing like I did for the other girls where there will be stick pens here, which is what I was using, like electronical coverage stuff to put in here, and I doubled it, I'm actually putting cork in here so that they can put thumbtacks to put up stuff on their boards. 
So, and then on the back will be magnet for their paper clips. So, this is all around a teacher one. So, I'm going to get to showing you this real quick. And I'm going to put these over. Excuse me, sweetie. What, what time are we looking at? And my daughter is videotaping again. Please don't let these fall. Oh, 5.15. Okay, so we're going to start it. This is part one. I don't know how long it'll take me. Hopefully, it won't take me long because it takes me a while to do this. I do have... I am live right now, even on my uh, channel, and I'm trying to answer some questions. So the first thing you're going to do is you can see you're going to put um, a lot of these pieces together. You're going to obviously take them apart because I know a lot of you were asking me what I was doing with um, my son was making um, bracelets, and he's still going to make them because I got tons of these, and he's got a lot of orders. My son's autistic, and he came up with a really cool bracelet to make. Um, so you're going to make a lot of these, and you're going to see that I have some large ones. And you're going to need at least one, two, three, four, five, six of them for each rocker. Yeah, six for each rocker that you make. So these are the large ones. And again, you can see the difference in size. Okay, so I'm going to show you because I do have some pieces already made. I already have some rocker pieces made. As you can see, these are the bottom. I want you to see how that you put this together. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you. But if you look, there's a bump here. And I'm going to show you why you do the bump. I'm going to have to make a little one anyway. So let me put two of these together, another two. And you gotta, you got to double check them because I have found that not all of them are the exact same size. Which can be a big pain in the ass. And I know you guys have missed me making videos. So I'm trying. i got a lot of stuff going on. And i got a lot of coming up. So Okay, so you're going to have two of these pieces. This is the base of your rocker. This is what's going to rock. And as, let me put another stick, uh, stick of glue. I had one here. I got my little um, pirate chest from Disney where it got, um, what you calling it. Anyway, so if you're looking at this piece right here, you're going to want to go ahead and pay very close attention to that notch. You're going to go ahead and you're going to put hot glue. And E6000 works. Like I said, just depends on how fast. And what I do is I pull it back. So it doesn't get in there too much. And then you get it real close in there. Now, I actually, and a lot of you guys may not like this, but if you have the rubber tips, I would use them. But I want to make sure it gets nice and thick in there. And again, or thin in there. You don't. You want it to hold, but at the same time, please be aware you're going to have to use super glue if you're using hot glue, which I, I recommend the hot glue over the E6000. Because when you're structurally starting to put them up, it just takes take a while. Now, you're going to have this. Now, this is your bump for your rocker. And you're going to see that. So, what you're going to have to do on your next piece is you're going to want to put hot glue here. And as you can see where that is, I'm going to pull back. And I'm going to hold it down. And again, see the, um, the indentation? You don't want to go any farther than that. Because you need the rocker piece. And if there's extra, don't worry. Because this is where your uh, heat gun is going to come in handy later. Um, and as you go through it, I wouldn't worry about it too much. But you have to have the bump um, like this right here. Because this is your rocking point. It's what's going to stop you from rocking all the way forward. If you notice, this will rock back. And it will continuously rock. But when you're rocking, there's always a bump to stop you from rocking too forward on a real rocker. Um, this is like in architecture 101 here guys, so I this is just one But so this is what you end up doing next is you end up taking two more pieces Like these and then you're going to glue them into those indentation on the other side It doesn't matter which how you put them in as long as it's in that next indentation um, And that's going to give you these pieces now um, Where are we at? Nine. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because we're going to work on the next part of the structure and We're going to go to part two